Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Star Tropics 2. I decided to cut the rest of this grass maze out because it's just a complete waste of time and you really aren't missing anything. Except maybe a dungeon with its own theme, but that's about it. Anyways, we're at the end of the thing now, so let's see what we get for all that trouble. Welcome, Mike. I have been expecting you. I shout, well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Listen well, there is a special ability that I must give to you. It is the power of the mind. Books? Twilight Sparkle? No, we get Psychic Shock. With this force, you'll be able to break barriers and strike your enemies down. Now be gone with you. Some heck of a monkey. There is crap all over this mic. I need to clean it. It's like little tiny bits of hair. Probably back when my cat was here. Psst, psst. Let me tell you a secret about the pyramid. I, sneak I snaked into there once and I was charmed by a very catchy tune. It's not as catchy as you'd think. What he's talking about is just here at the entrance. And if you need health, yeah, there's stuff in here to restore you. And if you notice I'm down to life, I made a stupid jump off screen and killed myself. Oops. Anyways, to use Psychic Shock, hit select and then fire away. It actually fires faster than the swords and has slightly more range. But it is a tiny bit weaker, so yeah. It's not as useful as I'd like it to be right now. But still, it's still a good thing. I usually use it about now, but swords are just so much more practical. Well, the daggers. The bronze dagger! Come on, buddy. I hope you like the daggers. We're going to be having them for a while. It's not a joke. We'll be having these daggers for quite some time. Don't worry, though. They'll get replaced eventually. Eventually, I'll use nothing but the psychic shock uh, thing because it's just so damn useful later. Oops. Forgot about that pitfall. So yeah, when you're in this room, watch out for the spikes. They'll instantly kill you. And uh, the pitfall right there. Let's wait for the... Actually, let's go across this way first. We don't need the health. There should be a button. There it is. Make sure there's nothing over there. And once you've hit that button, grab this orb and voila, the door opens. If you need health though, go up there and get it, but do take it slow or you'll get hurt. Oh yeah, only psychic shock will hurt zombies, I forgot about that. It's a useful thing. I'll use it for a little bit, why not? Whoa, I forgot about you! Yeah, I'd forgotten about that, dude. Alright, let's hit this button and open that chest. To reveal a magic potion. See if we can do it. Yes, we did it. We made it across without having to go two trips. Alright, take care of those tiny mummy kids. Or small mummies. Midget mummies? I don't know. Oh, that was close. He almost ran into us. That would have hurt. As I've said before, this game does not pull any punches. Anyways, once you're done, jump on down. Ah, I forgot to move. For that, now I must run back up. Huzzah. Yeah, if you mess up, you have to try again. It's no big deal. Just fall right back down the hole and move left. There's some health over here, and I need it. I'm slightly damaged. Alright, let's stay to the edges so we don't fall down further. Watch out for that orb of pain. And in this room, we're introduced to a new gimmick. It's conveyor arrows. They're not really a belt. It's not really a treadmill. It's just arrows that push you. Magical force arrows. I don't know. You guys tell me. Watch out for those undead skelly dudes wrapped up in onesies. They're wrapped up in the snu snuggles. I forgot what that product was called. I was going to make a joke about it. Even though I think it's kind of cool. 
Snuggies? I think it's Snuggies. I don't remember. Anyways, let's grab that arrow to open up the path forward. Arrow? I mean question mark orb. The one is seen as Super Mario Brothers 3. Now let's take care of these dudes from over here while we're safe. Alright, you're next, big boy. All the mummies will do is chase after you. Anyways, we have a free life sign over here. It will either give you some lives, a lot of lives, or take away a life. Today we get just one. Oh well, that makes up for the life I lost off screen. So yay, we win. We are winners. A winner is me. Ow, that's not fun. Did a half-hearted damage. I'm calling your mothers. I'm telling the queen on you. Ow, stop it. That's not nice. I don't like getting hit. It takes away my health. It brings me closer to my doom. Now we have spiders in here. Don't let those arrows push you into the spikes. You will die. Let's take care of that spider and then this spider. And there you go. That wasn't so bad, now was it? See, it takes two s daggers to kill them or three shots. Oh, it takes four, shit. Now, right now, our psychic shock isn't very useful. Alright, there should be some health in this room. Where are you, buddy? Show thyself. There you are. Delicious health. Make sure there's nothing else. Alright, we're all set. Now we got some mummy dudes in here. And they need our psychic shock, though, to take care of the zombies. I don't know why, but whatever. Undead, I guess. Alright, we'll come into this room. You'll be like, well, this seems awfully s strange. A snake padded on the floor. We'll grab that question mark and we'll head on sort of forward. Because we can't actually go forward just yet. We have to take this little roundabout path to get what we need to head forward. I'll zap away these mummy dudes. That'll open up the next path. Which has a whole bunch of fiery things. And some buttons we gotta press. Whoa! I failed to juke out that second one. I think there's some health in here. Yeah, there it is. Magic items. Be sure to use those before you finish the current dungeon you're in, because they'll go away. Ow. Ow. Stop slightly damaging me. It's not very nice. Alright, let's get what's in that chest. That's the item we need to proceed. As you can tell, that roundabout path was literally a roundabout. It took us in a full circle. We have no choice but to fight these dudes. Ow! That really fucking hurts! Oh, we're about to die, so let's use this. Ow, that doesn't restore nearly as much as a fairy. I was wrong. I told you you could get beat up really easy in this game. You guys didn't believe me, did you? Anyways, in this room, use the flute. And that'll reveal three snake enemies. Which is guarding the true path. Oh, right there, cheese tips. Come here. He's just going in a square, now he's running away. Whatever, let's just go up. So we're coming close to a boss now. So we're close. Not there just yet. Alright there, tubs. Watch yourself. Alright, we want to get this health first, and there's no way we're going back. We'll fall to our doom. Don't try it. Unless you're a master at this game. Then you could probably make it. Alright, let's hope we don't get smashed. Yay, we did it. Alright, up there is the boss, but we want to get that health potion first. Stop it. Yay, we're all set for the fight. So let's head up and fight the boss, which is actually pathetically easy if you play it right. Just try to stay up and do not stay in the line of his sight. Try to stay just to the side of him. Because if you don't, he'll zap you with a really powerful laser attack. 
Yeah, stop that. That's not very... Oh, God. And that's it. That was easy. And with that dungeon completed, we can get the Tetrid. I would have used the potions, but that's almost pointless. Alrighty, let's head north and grab our delicious little puzzle piece. These Tetrids are special. You guys will get to find out what they actually are later in the game. I know what they are, though. Anyways, with that, our life level is increased. Thank God. And with that, the chapter is complete. I decide to use the Oxford World Wonder again. Wonder World again. I turn the page and say the magic words. Pa pa um pa pa mao mao how. Whoa, this is radical. Yeah, this game certainly saves a lot. You slip into another time and space. Chapter 4. Yeah, you're thinking, why does it always just say the same line? Well, that's just basically t taking you to the next chapter. And then you tell the story. I appear, huh? Where am I? Oh, here's an address. 221B Baker Street. London! Hmm, sounds familiar. I decide to look around, and I... God, I hate this chapter. This chapter sucks. I'm gonna say that now, it sucks. For the dungeons alone, the overworld map is okay. Anyways, let's go in here and let's talk to someone famous. Ah, good evening. Allow me to introduce myself. The name is Holmes. I shot, you mean Sherlock Holmes? The great detective? Well, yes, I do like a good mystery. In fact, I've concluded that a robbery will occur in the museum tonight. A rascal by the name of Zoda X intends to steal a most curious stone. I shout, Zoda X? Zoda? I've heard of that name before. Oh, well then you shall help me catch him red-handed. Meet me at the museum at the stroke of midnight and don't be late. And with that, we're teleported behind this lamppost. There's a dog if you want to talk to it. Woof, bow wow, woof woof. You can go into this house here and get yelled at for some reason, but we need to go up. We need to go to that museum. There's another dog. There's the police station. The museum is to the north of us, but we need to go. We can't go through that way. The police station is closed. Hey, officer, can you help us? A little late to be going to the museum, isn't it? Hmm, suspicious. Come with me. And with that, we're thrown in prison. Which I have to say is one of the world's worst prisons, because if you had right... Where is it? There's an escape route, right there. That leads right out of the station! Wow! They are so stupid. Alright, let's head to that museum. That guy's sleepwalking. I don't think there's anything to our south. We can take a look. Why not? That's the same dog, I think. Nah, there isn't. I've checked all around here. There's nothing secret. So let's just head on north to the museum. No more time wasting. Ah, just in time, what, sir, Mike? Come, I will show you the stone. A tetrad. Hey, look, that was easy. I quickly reached for it, but suddenly... Plot! Ha ha, I've got the tetrad now, Mike. I shout, Zoda, that alien scum! Weak human, you'll never survive the power of mighty Zoda X. Zoda X has escaped with the tetrad. The game is afoot, Mike. You give chase and I will cut him off. Alrighty, let's do this. And immediately start by heading to the left. Because... Heart piece! I've got a big heart. Our life level has increased. Yay! 
Anyways, to get things started, head south and head south, head south and down into this sewer. But we're not gonna do that in this episode because this is the least favorite dungeon in the game. I absolutely hate this dungeon in the preceding one after because it's platform heavy and some rules don't apply there. And you'll find out what they are next time on Let's Play Star Tropics 2: Zoda's Revenge.